Heritage Expeditions was founded by my parents in 1984, and um, my father's background was in, was in ecology and conservation, so he worked on um, rare and endangered birds around New Zealand, including visiting to the sub-Antarctic islands on a regular basis. I fell in love with these islands way back in the 1970s as a young biologist. Um, I really believe that we've got to share the wild and wonderful places of, of New Zealand, you know, mainly the sub-Antarctic islands. We focused on the real iconic wildlife areas that had a great story that I didn't think were being told. That kind of evolved and developed and we uh, started to, uh, to operate voyages down to the sub-Antarctic islands through to Antarctica and have been operating those for 30 years. My brother and I, throughout our, our childhood, um, there was regular opportunities to, uh, to travel aboard the, uh, the ships. I've been fortunate enough to have, having grown up with heritage, travelled to the sub-Antarctic islands um, for, uh, for well over three, uh, three decades now, and they really are the Galapagos of, uh, of the Southern Ocean. They're incredibly biologically rich. The abundance of, of wildlife is, is really second to, uh, to none. But the day to day we've seen species of albatross, penguins, we've seen the, uh, the bellbirds which are crawling now, and parakeets. There's nowhere in the world that has, um, has a greater diversity of, of penguins, of albatross, petrels and prions than the, um, than the New Zealand sub-Antarctic islands. I've been travelling down to the sub-Antarctic and Antarctica started out when I was nine years old. It's about the expedition. People are here to see what they want to see and as an expedition leader and as a company you're here to facilitate those clients to get the best experience possible. The Heritage Expeditions I think is done an enormous amount to make people aware of the Southern Ocean, the Subantarctic particularly. It paves the way for people to be able to come to a place that they've never even thought of before and learn how very, very special it is. For me, easily the most special thing was being here at Campbell Island and walking on that beautiful boardwalk and then being able to sit down close to the albatross and photograph them and see how they interact with each other. That was easily the most special thing. And these islands are forever, not just for our lifetime. So I hope the islands are better off in many ways than they were when they started.